Josh Hennick here on 97.3 ESPN. On the phone right now is Derek Brunson, and he's fighting tonight at UFC 208, and he's facing a very well-known name, Anderson Silva, considered the greatest of all time in MMA history. Derek, how you doing? I'm doing good. You know, Anderson Silva, that's a name that comes with a lot of pedigree. That's a guy who he has fought for so long, so many people know him. What was your reaction when that fight was first offered to you? Um, yeah, you know, the guy has a lot of name value, and it's a fight that will definitely take my brand and my name to the next level, so we're definitely excited about that. You have a wrestling background. We know that Anderson Silva has had trouble with guys with wrestling backgrounds. Do you think that is a major advantage for you in this fight? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I have a good, a good wrestling background, and, you know, he's very aware of that. So, you know, I'm sure he's been really, you know, focusing on that a lot. But, yeah, that's definitely one of my advantages in the fight, you know, the wrestling that I possess. Another thing that Anderson usually has in fights is his reach advantage. But your reach advantage is pretty good, too. you got a 77-inch reach to talk about. Do you feel like your reach is going to help you, whereas that has been a detriment for other guys facing Anderson? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, he's able to, you know, he takes a lot of guys that he's a lot quicker in, so he's able to really stand in that pocket, and then he has the, the reach, so we just pretty much have him at, at his mercy, you know. But, yeah, I match him in, you know, speed, you know. Definitely, I, I believe I'm the more powerful guy. I know I'm the more powerful guy. And, um, yeah, our reach is equal. You know, maybe he might be a, a inch longer, but, yeah, he's definitely different than what he's faced in the past. It sounds like to me that you're not taking Anderson lightly. I know some guys look at him and say he's an older guy. He's had a few losses. You know, there was the drug test a couple of years ago. But it sounds like to me that you are not underestimating him at all. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'd be stupid to any guy in my position would be stupid to. I think, you know, a guy that very excited about making the fight, you know, he knows where he's at. He, he sees himself on a daily basis. I know he's coming in, you know, I planned out probably the best possible answer as far as knowledge that he could be. Derek, you you and Anderson are both coming off of losses. The interesting thing about your career is when you lost to Joel Romero, you went on a five-fight winning streak. When you lost to Jacare Souza, you went on a two-fight winning streak. So do we expect an eight-fight winning streak next? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, after a win over Anderson, yeah, I expect to go on a long streak, you know. It was really that time, you know, for me to start peaking. And, you know, I've shown I can knock guys out. I've shown I can rest the guys. You know, I went on a long streak of just knocking guys out. And I got a little greedy with that and just kept trying to, you know, just force it instead of letting it come. So I know I have to knock out power. I just have to set it up more and um, be a part of the process. You're coming in a record with 16-4. and four. Talk about the evolution of your game. You know, you were a collegiate wrestler, an All-American at Division Two, and you've kind of redeveloped your game. It seems like every fight you're adding something new to it. So talk about your evolution. Yeah, I just uh, work everything on a daily basis. I set a schedule for the week and I stick to all my training sessions. I make sure that I, you know, get everything where it's, you know, boxing, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, you know, cardio. I'm doing every single thing and I'm not missing training. So um, I'm up in all of my martial arts and, you know, it's up to show. Talk about the value of wrestling as a background for MMA. I know a lot of guys, you know, they transition a lot of times from wrestling to MMA. It's it's a pretty seamless transition for a lot of guys. But talk about the value of what you feel having a wrestling background does for guys. Oh, yeah. The, the wrestling is always good to have, you know. So, you know, the fight starts on its feet. It just, it, you know, the guys get the better of your feet and you start to, you know, try to set it up and just sit down and look for some work on the ground. Let's give the fans a little opportunity to get to know you a little bit better, Derek. First of all, let's talk about what is your go-to food during training camp? My go-to food during training camp, uh, I like a lot of broccoli, chicken breast, uh, salad, you know, get some, get a good, uh, get the Italian dressing. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm, what's routine for me to get the weight to come down and a lot of lean foods and a lot of cashews and, you know, stuff like that. It's like kind of like healthy, lean snack. What is the one thing that you would be doing if you were not an MMA fighter? Uh, well, an MMA fighter, I'll be, I'll be working as what I was doing before when I was an in-home therapist before I fully switched my um, job over and I was working with kids and families. So it's kind of my thing. Kind of one of the things I uh, enjoy doing and one of my passions as far as work. 
Is that something you're want, going to want to do when you're done with MMA? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely in some capacity. At least not, you know, open a gym is definitely that same aspect. You're pretty much mentoring, like, young guys. So that might fit in also. So it's kind of, you know, what I was doing before. What's so great about North Carolina? Um, it's home to me, you know. I live in Wilmington, North Carolina. And it has all the nice beaches. Just, just a nice place to live. It's not too much of anything. It's like a little bit of everything. It's not too busy. It's not too slow. You know, uh, it's not too hot, not too cold. So just like a good mix. Talk about your opinion about the future of MMA, how the sport has developed. You know, 15 years ago, 16 years ago, the sport seemed to be a totally niche sport. And then today it seems like it's finally getting mainstream traction. What do you think is the thing or the person that is should deserve the most credit for that? Yeah, I think mean, MMA is growing, you know. It's coming to that forefront and one of the classes in sports. And, you know, guys are able to make a career of it now. What is the one thing that you're most proud of thus far in your career? Um, just what I've, what I've done before. I would think don't done so far. I was thinking the other day that this is my 21st fight and 14 of my fights have been in the UFC or strike force. So pretty much I jumped into competing with the best at a very early stage. And I had been able to stay here and maintain and put on good records and good fights and good shows and get good finishes. So definitely a part of that in my, as my career. UFC 208 is tonight on pay-per-view. Derek Brunson, we're talking with facing Anderson Silva. They're the co-main event. Derek, for those who haven't seen you before, I'm going to give you the platform. Tell everybody why they should tune in to watch you fight Anderson Silva tonight. I mean, you got Anderson Silva fighting. I think the name alone sells itself. You got me, on the other hand, in my past seven fights, I got four first-round knockouts. So I'm a guy that goes out here and bring it, and he's fighting as fireworks right now. UFC 208 tonight, the co-main event, Derek Brunson versus Anderson Silva. Derek, appreciate you a few minutes of your time today. Thank you.